I have spent 9 plus years in giving and taking React interviews and trust me 95% of them follow the same exact pattern. If you know this structure, cracking your next React job becomes way more easier. So don't skip this video and watch till end and I'll walk you through each and every possible scenario that you will come across in real React interviews. So let's get started. So talking about React interviews, there will be at least two rounds. The first will be based on your foundations and basics and the second will be more on the project and the framework side. But if you are applying for mid to senior roles or even like super senior roles or staff engineer roles, there can be multiple rounds like three, four, five. So the first two rounds will be mandatory. These are like 95% of jobs will have these two rounds. For the next three, for the next three rounds, they are optional. They are most likely to be asked in the higher or like in the product based companies and that too for expert or senior people expert or senior people so i'll walk you through all these react interview rounds and we will discuss about everything that can be asked in each and every round so let's get started with the first round that is javascript typescript html css round so this will be the mandatory round you will face in each and every react interview so javascript and typescript is very very much important while facing the react interviews people think that they are applying for any react position so they will be directly asked about react or redux but no this is not the case in most of the cases like in 95 to 98 percent of the interviews in the first round they will never ask about the react or any kind of framework they will always focus on your fundamentals how your problem solving skills are how is your logic how can you code in the JavaScript or TypeScript? Whenever I say JavaScript, TypeScript is by default included because in 2025, TypeScript is the by default language for any front end or back end role in the Node.js. It is the default language. You should always know the TypeScript basics. So, whenever I say JavaScript, always consider TypeScript is always included. So, JavaScript is very much important when you go to even the fresher role or mid senior role or senior role or even the staff engineer role. JavaScript JavaScript fundamentals are very very important. So the first round will always be on the JavaScript. So JavaScript is the backbone of front-end development here. The next thing is CSS and HTML. If you are applying for any like fresher role, HTML will be asked. So what will be asked in HTML? Like what are semantic tags? What are semantic tags? What is the difference between div and span? So this kind of simple questions will be asked in the fresher roles. So what is the difference between block and inline elements? So these kind of questions will be popularly asked in your interviews and they will follow the same pattern in all the junior level interviews but when it comes to the senior level html will not be that much frequently asked the place will be taken by css so css is kind of a trickier language for styling and there can be a number of scenarios that can be asked in css what you can consider flexbox grid and uh, simple layouts simple layouts that can be asked box model it is like the most popular question in the any css or any front-end interview what is css box model what is box sizing what is box sizing what are different units like pixel vh vw what is what are the differences so these are very common questions that can be asked in any css related questions so coming to the javascript part javascript is kind of an ocean we can ask in anything from javascript the scope is very large in case of javascript popular questions are like promises promises and async await async await then closures what are closures that can be asked in case of senior interviews they will ask about event loop and internal working of javascript internal working how javascript works why javascript is single threaded and how can we do asynchronous programming and that kind of stuff then like this and call apply bind call apply and bind so these kind of questions are very much popular in any uh, level of interview like uh, from junior to the expert level interviews they will ask these kind of questions you can check my interview related uh, videos for this purpose so this this video is all about the structure by the end of this round they will ask you one javascript code question what that code will be it can be uh, related to strings or arrays or objects it can be from anything right and in some advanced cases they will ask about the promises and async code as well so this can also be asked you should be prepared for this this is a must there is no option to coding and there will be no any interview which will go without having this javascript code they will certainly ask for javascript code in your first round so that was regarding the first and basics round about javascript or typescript and css and html okay
So the second round will be on the React plus frameworks, what frameworks you are using in your current company, what is your project is about and uh, the state management, state management and the machine coding and the machine coding. So this is the important part. So generally this round will be of one, one to two hours, generally one to one and a half or two hours because it, it consists of this machine coding and this machine coding takes time. They will give you 30 minutes to 45 minutes and the, in the rest 45 minutes they will ask about this. So what they will ask in React, they can ask from props and state to advanced concepts like SSR, SSG and uh, bundling and so many advanced top topics like next JS. There can be a number of things that can be asked as a part of React. Uh, also how React re-renders, how rendering happens in React and uh, what are the hooks, very important question. What are the hooks? What are the built-in and custom hooks? Custom hooks, very popular questions in React. What is context API? Context API, very much important. So these kind of questions they will ask under React. In the frameworks, frameworks and libraries you can say redux how it is integrated with react redux they will ask and if the need is there they will ask for react query react query it is not frequently asked but if that company has implemented react query they will certainly ask a couple of questions on that in the frameworks uh, next.js is very popular nowadays next.js so you can expect two to three questions from the next.js as well they will be tricky actually because in, in the mid to like uh, senior uh, roles they will ask about the hydration mismatch and uh, how the rsc payload works and they will give real-time scenarios so in that case the framework related part becomes very much important for clearing the rounds so the next part is state management why state management is kept different from react and redux and frameworks because they will give some real world scenarios okay. and i have seen this question in many uh, companies and they they insist on this suppose they will give you some component give, given a parent component and uh, given some child component given some child component and there is a uh, some state in this component and we have to share the state between these two these two and these two so they will expect that you should answer this question like do the state lifting so you should keep this state in the parent component and uh, so this kind of scenario and they will also uh, trigger your thought process that uh, if if there are many children then in that case you should use redux and uh, one popular question is redux versus context api where should we use context and where should we use redux is a very popular question by interviewers that comes under the state management part the next is machine coding so what is machine coding so they will ask you about uh, building a folder st structure or tree structure OTP input. So for this machine coding, you can refer my Win React machine coding series. In that, I have covered most of the questions that are asked in real React interviews. This was about the machine coding. So generally, they will give 45 minutes for this round, and they will ask you to walk to you through the this, the code that you have written, and they will also ask some follow-up questions to modify the code that you have written, so as to ensure that the code that you have written is not copied from somewhere and uh, you have written your code by yourself. So the next round that is kind of optional for the junior roles is the system design or managerial round. Generally, uh, they can have the managerial round, but system design is mostly for the advanced people, the people which have like five to six or even more experience in the area. The system design here refers to the front end system design, front end systems design. Under that, uh, what you have to do is they will ask you one problem. That problem can be like a build AI chatbot, AI chatbot. You don't have to write any code for it. You have to just kind of draw a diagram of it like not the chatbot but the system that you are gonna build like uh, what are the components that will be required as in ui terms because this will be front end system design round and if you tell something about the back end elements as well like uh, what apis and what kind of methods like get put post patch delete is and uh, if you have knowledge about graphql and if you just give insights of that as well in your interview the interviewer will be very much impressed by that knowledge so uh, that's very good and bonus for your interviews in the front end system design you should show up what components will be required and uh, for each component what will be the props interface okay, what states you will manage and what global state you will require global state this kind of stuff you can uh, like uh, play with and uh, the next thing is what apis you will require to fetch data from okay, apis the name of the apis you can say the data models like what arguments the ui will send and what response the ui will get and that will be bound that kind of things you can discuss here it's more about a discussion and not a formal technical round in most cases yeah this is about the system design and manage managerial round 
the next round that you can probably uh, face is behavioral and product mindset this is kind of a very optional for even the product based companies because this is not asked for seven to eight years you can say because this is very much dependent on the company even for like two to three years experience also big companies have the behavioral and product mindset round but on on the contrary uh, when there are some product based companies which don't ask for this round even for like nine to ten years of experience this is very much important round and even there are candidates those will be eliminated in this round as well what, what is the elimination risk here because the questions will not be straightforward they will be such that they will give you some scenarios or they will just discuss with you they will just discuss with you but during that discussion what approaches you take for solving the problems what is your thought process how do you see the, uh, the regular day-to-day -day work in your life or in the office life from that they did you some things that like what are the values how are you as a human how do you treat the company's values so this kind of stuff they judge from your answers and uh, if you fit in their company's culture they, they will hire you otherwise they will not so they are kind of a very sensitive people uh, those who take this round be prepared for this as well how to prepare this keep your stories ready keep your stories ready uh, what do you mean by stories what they will ask basically how will you handle the pressure scenarios there are deadlines and how will you work together with the team and uh, how will you do this if you answer this question like this that uh, yeah though there are deadlines the quality should be the first focus this shows that you have the product mindset the second is i will prioritize the work that means that shows that you work on the priorities we will define a scope and uh, will set the priorities so this will show that uh, you are a good leader or a good engineer just google 20 to 25 commonly asked behavioral questions and keep your stories ready for it stories means your answers to those questions so that you don't need to think in between the interview and uh, your interview will go in good flow this is about the behavioral and product mindset in the earlier video as well i have explained the product mindset means how do you work in the organization in product focus or customer centric focus so you should not be the only coder or uh, because for coding if you know ai is also there but the only difference between ai and an engineer is the product mindset so engineer thinks in terms of customer what my customer needs our code or our work will be aligned to that that is very much important the product mindset this is the pattern of every company to organize the react interviews and this is almost same for junior to the expert or staff engineer level roles as i said third and fourth and fifth round are kind of optional but they can also be there for some companies 95% of the interviews follow the same flow. If you prepare round by round, from JS fundamentals to React machine coding, system design, you will be ready for almost any company. And if you want me to create separate videos for each round with sample questions, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe the channel. That's it for today. Bye-bye.